Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and welcome to Alfred Hitchcock Month. Every day dividable by 5 of this month I will be making a video that's relevant to Alfred Hitchcock. Today I'm gonna remake my review of Psycho. If you are interested in my original review, a link to it is in the video description below. But I don't recommend you check it out though. Anyway, with that all being said, let's get started. So this movie is basically about some normal woman with something unusual will happen to in the middle of the movie. Now I'm gonna start by talking about Marion Crane, played by Janet Leigh. She is extremely fucking normal. And that's definitely a good thing in this movie. Because I was really interested in her everyday life. There is absolutely nothing extraordinary about her. But for some reason that's exactly what I find interesting about her. Oh and then it also seems to me like in many parts of the movie she has voices in her head. How the hell does she accomplish ignoring those voices? I don't know how she manages to do but the fact that she does is beyond fucking awesome. The next character that I want to talk about is George Lowry, played by Vaughn Taylor. This guy only appeared in one scene and that scene is the funniest part of the movie. And keep in mind that by one of the funniest I am talking about out of the very few moments so as this is for the most part a very serious movie. But I will talk about that later on in the review. But yeah, that one scene he's in is fucking awesome and I really wished he was more in the movie. I mean hell, it would be fucking awesome if he got his own spin-off movie. That would be a movie I would love to watch. In fact, I would watch that movie as soon as fucking possible. The third and final character of the movie that I want to talk about is Norman Bates, played by Anthony Perkins. Now he's the keeper of the motor that normal lady Marion goes to. And you know what? This guy is far less normal than the protagonist. Which isn't saying much since she is extremely normal. But anyway, this guy is a great guy and great to have a conversation with. Yeah, he really is. Now that I've talked about the characters, there are other things I want to talk about. Now I'm going to talk about the music. The music is fucking awesome because it brings more tension to the movie. It makes me more curious about what's going to happen. Speaking of which, the movie is not fucking predictable at all. Now of course there's some everything coming as I have seen this movie before. But I really think that if this was the first time I saw it, I wouldn't predict shit that's gonna happen in the movie. And that is so fucking awesome. That's one thing that I love about Alfred Hitchcock. He loves to surprise the audience. It's extremely common in his movies that you don't see what's going to happen. And that's fucking awesome. Oh, and this movie has almost no humor in it. I was barely laughing and that's okay. This is a horror movie. I'm not supposed to laugh. There are a few moments that made me laugh. But these are extremely fucking few. And the rest of the movie is overly fucking serious. Now a movie being serious doesn't necessarily make it scary. But now I'm gonna talk about how this movie is scary. The main reason this movie is so fucking scary is the fact that it has a great protagonist and you don't see what's gonna happen next. Alfred Hitchcock manages to do something that most horror movies both from the past and in recent times fail to do. And that's scaring the shit out of the audience. Albert Hitchcock is a fucking professional when it comes to making a scary movie. And you know what? That's exactly what I fucking love about the guy. I just wish that most horror movies, both from the past and present, bear like Alfred Hitchcock's horror movies. But sadly they aren't and I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Well, what can I say? This movie is fucking awesome and holds up 55 years later. And for that I'm going to give it two thumbs up. 
Stay tuned. More movie reviews of Alfred Hitchcock's movies are coming, along with other videos that are also relevant to that brilliant director. Well, guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.